Okay, so we're gonna read chapter seven in Junie B. Jones is almost a flower girl. Not a flower girl, but almost. Chapter seven is called Hope. So when we last left off, left off Aunt Flo called Junie B and asked Junie B if she'd like to be an alternate. And an alternate just means like a backup flower girl. So if there was like an accident or something happened um, and Bo couldn't be the flower girl, then Junie B would be her backup flower girl. And Junie B Jones was so excited about it. She was so thankful that she would maybe get to be a flower girl. So we're gonna read chapter seven and see what happens. Mother bought me a beautiful dress for the wedding. It had golden puffery sleeves and it came all the way to the floor. Also, she bought me fancy pantyhose with glimmery shimmers on them and brand new shiny gold shoes. I could not thank that woman enough. I thanked her the whole time I was in the store. Thank you, mother. I said, thank you for my beautiful dress. Thank you for my pantyhose. And thank you, thank you for my shiny gold shoes. I smiled real big. Now all I need is my blue fake bunny fur cape and I will be all set. Mother shook her head. Oh no, no way, she said. We've spent quite enough for one day. I looked and looked at that woman because she has no fashion sense apparently. Yes, but I have to have a blue fake bunny fur cape, mother, I said. Lucille says a blue fur cape adds elegance to any outfit. Lucille says... Mother interrupted my words. Her voice sounded scary in my ear. I don't care what, what Lucille says, she grouched. No fur cape. I quick backed up from her. Alrighty then, I said, kind of nervous. After that, I helped carry my bags to the car and I behaved myself all the way home. Then I run to my house with all my beautiful things and I tried my flower girl dress on for daddy. And guess what? I walked all the way down the hall and I didn't even trip. So there she is in her beautiful dress. <gasps> Looking very fancy. And then there's daddy. Daddy gave me a thumbs up. What a perfect flower girl you are. He said real proud. Thank you, I said. Only I'm not the real flower girl, remember, Daddy? I'm just the alternate. Just then, my shoulders slumped, drooped a teeny bit, and I didn't feel that happy anymore. Because at first, you're very, very glad to be the alternate, and after that, you're not. That night after dinner, Mother tucked me in bed real snug. She kissed me goodnight on my head. Yeah, only don't turn out the light yet, because I forgot to do something very important, I said. After that, I quick got out of bed again, and I looked out my window. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish, I wish, tonight. I crossed my fingers for luck. Dear star, please make Bo sick for Aunt Flo's wedding. Love, your friend, Junie B. Jones. I hopped back in my bed. Mother's eyes got big and white at me. No, Junie B, absolutely not. She said, we do not wish for people to get sick. You go back to that window and you change that wish right now. I raised up my eyebrows at her. Yeah, only how can I change it? It already got sent, I said. I explained. Fine, said mother, then go back to the window and wish a nicer wish on top of it. She snapped her fingers and pointed. Now, Junie B, I mean it. I got out of bed real slow. Then I walked to the window again, and I looked at my same star. Dear star, mother says not to make Bo sick, and so maybe you could just give her a case of head lice, and that's all. Thank you, and good night. Mother shook her head. No, Junie B, she said. No, no, no. <sighs> I did a mad breath. But... Head lice doesn't even hurt, mother, I said back. Head lice just takes a little extra shampoo and that's all. But mother kept on shaking her head and she made me change my wish again. <sighs> okay, star, never mind the whole dumb thing. Only now I won't be a flower girl for my whole entire life probably and so I hope my mother is happy. Amen. Good grief, Judy P. 
Oh my gosh. She is something else, I tell you. After that, I got in my bed and mother turned out my light. After she left, I did a big sigh. Shoot, that lice idea was a beaut. I said real soft. Just then, my stuffed elephant named Philip Johnny Bob tapped on me. Don't feel bad, he said. You might still get to be the flower girl. Yeah, only how, I asked him. He thought and thought. Maybe Bo's daddy will be driving her to the wedding and their car will get stuck at a railroad crossing and the train will be a million bajillion miles long, he said. I felt a little perkier at that idea. Hey, yeah, I said, or else maybe his car might get stuck in something else, like in some ooey gooey mud or in a traffic jam or in, or in, or in a giant puddle of crazy glue, said Philip Johnny Bob. After that, me and him laughed and laughed. Then I hugged that guy very tight because he is always giving me hope. Oh my gosh, Judy Jones. That is the end of chapter seven. Tomorrow we're going to read chapter eight called A Little Tussle. And a tussle means like a little fight. So I wonder what in the world is going to happen. Oh my gosh, Judy Jones wishing that I would get headlights. Oh no. Okay. Well, we're going to see. I hope you guys have been really liking this book. I love it. I think it's going to be so funny when she gets to the wedding and she meets Bo. Junie B. Jones' track record with meeting people that she doesn't really like is not that great. Like when she met New Thelma, she like did not like New Thelma and was mean and sassy to her. So I'm wondering what's going to happen when she meets Bo finally. All right, guys, that's it. I love you. Have a great day. Talk to you later.